Well, Thomas, how do you assess today's opening day defeat? Um, I think the players uh, went out and in the first game of the season, overall dominated Birmingham, created seven big chances, gave away one, maybe two uh, big chances, um, and we couldn't score, that's why we lost 1-0. Uh, so in general, many good things, and just before their opening goals, we know the first goal always changed, match, uh, changed the match a bit. We created three big chances. Um, and second half, well, you know, they banked it a little bit more. I was pleased with the with the, with their patience and the, the way we moved the ball relatively quick uh, and created the three big chances. It was more enough to get the equaliser. If you get the equaliser, then you know another dynamic change. Uh, the game, the last five minutes, we lost that patience and you know stressed a little bit too much. Uh, so, yeah, that's it. And then we we need to take uh, the bits from this game. First 20, 25 minutes, the duel, uh, duels, and the second ball game needs to do better, so we can get on top of the ball, uh, top of the game quicker, uh, and then overall play quicker with less touches in the right areas. I was going to say it looked like when the side did move the ball fast, and Josh De Silva and Emiliano were facing the Birmingham goal. That's yeah. when the real threat came. Exactly, and then that's where we we, we didn't find that quick enough um, in first half. In second half, we thought it was much better. But then after those 25 minutes with the second ball game issue, I think we got on top of it and created the, the big chances that should have gave us the, the one lead. You talk, you talk a lot about big chances. Obviously, the, the flip side is unfortunately not, ta not taking them. Yeah, yeah of course. <clears throat> I think the, the main thing is that we need to create a lot of chances. And when you create seven, it should normally be more than enough. And, and it's that bit of on the day could be quality. It could be margins, uh, it could be different variations, different vi variable, vari variables that can uh, be the reason why we didn't put it into the back of the net. First thing is to create them. And then I believe in uh, any other day we normally score. Uh, Brian Obuemo was fantastic for us last year. He got three chances where he normally gets three. He definitely put one in the back of the net. Emiliano always sniffs the chances in the box. Big chance, just a silver inside of the post uh, like this. So that's the way it is. So of course we're disappointed with um, with the defeat. Uh, I'm relatively pleased with the performance. Um, the speech we need to do better. Uh, but we know this is going to be a very long season and we need to move on to the next one. And as, at the other end, Luke Daniels had a, a relatively untroubled game. Yeah, I agree. Uh, <laughs> I don't think he had a save. Uh, and that's no disrespect. I haven't seen the goal. It's just, just uh, tell a story about how dominant we actually were in this game. And Matthias, any early guess on what's there? I, I don't know yet, uh, to be honest. Uh, I haven't uh, spoken with him and uh, not the medical guys. I just focus on getting out here. So uh, <laughs> we, uh, we will assess in the morning and then we know more. You touched on it before the game with, with David and, and Saeed. What's the, the, the latest for the fans on, on that? I haven't seen it. Uh, latest is that um, David Ryan have had an ongoing issue with his ligament on the outside of his knee uh, for three months, something like that. Um, and then we finally decided to give him an injection last Monday. He'll be ready to train Monday. And if things go well, be ready for selection on Saturday against Huddersfield. Uh, Saeed uh, came back a slightly bit later in the preseason, lack a bit of fitness. On top of that, a minor uh, injury Tuesday training. Uh, so that, that was the reason why he was not ready for selection for, for this game. He's been training like a beast uh, with a good attitude. And now you, you touch on it, but we look forward to another game at, at Southampton on Wednesday. Yeah, we look forward to that. Uh, there's going to be another tough challenge, but uh, I'll make sure uh, that we put a team out that is ready for the challenge. If you overall look, football matches obviously decided by the results, but the performance today has given you enough to, to think that there's, there's I think there is, a, there is definitely enough uh, in this game and especially if you if you look, I think it's the same for a lot of teams. I think you will see a, a lot of performance from the first game in general, but also teams that have been a little bit, you know, how can you say, uh, not just hitting the ground running uh, because it's been too short or whatever, a lot of things that disturbed uh, the preparation. The fact is just we played a game with not hitting our top performance, creating seven chances, conceded two, 
that's uh, quite promising. Are we, are we, are we, are we um, striving or, or going for even bigger performers and even better? Yes, that's what we uh, do every single day.